Hi, it's Matt from Gregory Auto. So, I just wanted to do this video on the BMW i3 uh, sort of wear and tear, really, because we've got two nice examples here. That one is a 2015 uh, 60 amp hour that's actually done 122,000 miles, and this one is a 2016 94 amp hour, and this one has done 50,000 miles. So let's look at this one first. Um, you know, 50,000 miles isn't a lot for a car, um, but I'll quickly show you around. There's a few little chips on the front that you would expect, but all these panels are plastic, as are every single panel on the i3. And being plastic, there's no rust, so you don't have to worry about chips too much. But when you do get chips, stone chips, they tend to scuff a little bit more because the plastic can be a little bit soft and you tend to get a little bit more of an indentation than you would do if it was a metal panel. But saying that, uh, mostly stone chips are on the front bumpers and all cars have plastic bumpers anyway so you're going to get the same. But you do get a little, little bit of chipping on the um, bonnets on uh, BMW i3s and that's where you notice that the stone chips might be a little bit deeper than they would be if it was a steel bonnet. That said, this car's done 50,000 miles and there's only a couple of stone chips and they're really minor anyway. And then this car has got the loft interior, so it means it's the palest of the interiors and does tend to show wear and tear and grime more easily. But um, the seat, while it is a bit dirty here and needs a clean, it's generally in pretty nice condition, but we can see here the edge of this sort of synthetic leather is starting to wear a little bit there. Um, but that's the only sign of wear and tear on the car. The rest of the car is just absolutely immaculate and you really wouldn't know it has done 50,000 miles. Absolutely no rattling or wear and tear on the front suspension even though this one has got these bigger uh, 20 inch wheels which do make the ride much harder. And then here we have got a 60 amp hour 2015 car so last of the smaller battery models but this car has done 122,000 miles it's uh, got it from it's come straight from the lease company only one owner uh, but this was a real surprise um, being any car that mileage you're going to get stone chips along the front this has got a few stone chips but very few it's in really good condition there's a few little nicks around where I've got to touch it up with a bit of paint like here there's a little stone chip there but really good um, but there's absolutely no sign of wear and tear that's the purpose of doing this video I just wanted to show potential i3 owners how well these age so it certainly does help with this one this has got the sweet interior which is the all leather interior and it's quite astonishing really you would expect a car that's done 122,000 miles to show some wear on the seats even with leather seats but the leather is particularly hard wearing on the i3 i guess the nice thing is that you do have this sort of elephant hide type effect on the edges um, so it's quite uh, um, textured anyway so it does hide anywhere but really it's it's just immaculate um, it, I sold another one of these cars that had only done 17,000 miles with the same interior and to be honest the seats didn't look any different there's no cracking or significant creases yet in the leather it really is amazing I was quite surprised when I saw this and the edge of the seat isn't wearing at all like the blue car is over there um, again 122,000 miles you might expect to see some wear on the steering wheel I've certainly seen Tesla Model S's really showing wear on the wheel but absolutely nothing on this that steering wheel genuinely looks no different to uh, a car that's done under 20,000 miles um, again on the pedals modern cars don't wear so much on the pedals but absolutely zero wear on these I'm not sure whether that's still the original mat um, it's likely it is I don't think anyone would change the mat and actually that mat's still like new as well it's quite remarkable this car so I don't know the history behind it I don't know what's been changed but um, the car is still no different to others I've sold with 20 to 30,000 miles on I was sort of expecting the front suspension to be a little bit rattly where there'll be a bit of wear 
it's slightly there if you really f when you're dri particularly driving on a, a gravelly track like this if you really feel for it and trying to look for anywhere you will notice it is a little bit there's a bit more play than say the other vehicle but then saying that the other vehicle's got 20 inch wheels and that actually feels worse just because of the larger wheels um, so this is fine and it will um, go through many MOT tests before we'll ever need to be changing anything on the front suspension but as I said I don't know the history so I don't know what's been changed but so far I'm really impressed with this car uh, there aren't many cars around that won't uh, show the wear and tear as much as this. You know, um, you genuinely, this doesn't look like a car that's done 122,000 miles. Um, you know, the whole thing still looks like, you know, a, a 20,000 mile car. Just also show you the um, door rubbers because I read on the i3 forums that one of the things the older vehicles suffer from is wear and tear on the door rubber and that is a whole piece and because these don't have uh, pillars it's the whole bit all the way around that needs to be changed which I believe, I might be wrong but I think I saw that it cost 350 quid to buy a new one. However, as I said, this car's done 122,000 miles and I cannot see anything wrong with this dual rubber at all. All the way round, it is just perfect. So, um, when I first was doing my research on i3s, I saw this dual rubber was an issue. I don't know whether they've replaced this one previously or whether it only affects the older 2013 cars and they maybe have improved it, I don't know. But looking at this one, um, it's certainly not an issue on this car. I don't think there's much more I can show you on these cars. There's just one minor thing. I'll just show you the alloy wheels. So this one's obviously got the standard 19 inch wheels and I can just see it is starting to bubble a little bit around the valve stem there, but you would just sort of expect that of a car um, as they age all alloy wheels do that they all crowed um, but it's very cheap to get a wheel refurbished and for a car that's done 122,000 miles these wheels are remarkable um, there's a little bit of curbing but you'd expect some significant curbing on these because the i3 tyre has a very low profile and a car of this sort of mileage you'd expect the wheels to be in much worse state than they are um, and I'd say that about the whole car, it's quite remarkable really. That's why I wanted to do this video, is just to show how these cars seem to cope with the mileage. Um, you know, they haven't been around too long, so it's a bit of an unknown, and we haven't had this car too long, so I don't know its history, but just from the um, condition of it, you really wouldn't know that's done 122,000 miles. And the same with that one, you wouldn't know that's done 50,000 miles. I know that's not many miles for a modern car but um, still hopefully this video shows you that the i3 seems to be able to cope with a lot of miles doesn't really show any evidence of wear and tear so if you're looking for an i3 and it's got more than the average mileage then I think probably on my limited experience they're a great buy. I took a bit of a risk with this one, buying it with 122,000 miles, but so far really impressed with it. Obviously I don't know the history as I've said, but it drives no different to many other i3s I've had. Uh, it drives exactly the same. You get in it and you would think that was a 20,000 mile car. Um, so yeah, very impressed, but only time will tell. Who knows what the reliability is going to be like, but this video really is to show you wear and tear, and the i3 seems to show no evidence of it. They seem to um, be able to cope with the miles, and um, particularly if you've got the leather interior. It might be different if it had the cloth interior. Obviously this one's starting to look a little bit dirty inside, but that can easily be fixed. But certainly that leather interior really hasn't shown any wear and tear at all. So I hope you find this video useful, particularly if you're in the market for a used i3 and you happen to see a high mileage one, particularly if it's cheap, then I would say go for it.